Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Marvel Legend review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Build-A-Figure Sasquatch Wave, Deadpool. Alright, and here is the X-Force Wave Rob Liefeld Deadpool out of the packaging, and my first opinion on this figure is, he's alright. <laughs> um, this figure's uh, pouches and straps really bug me, it's it's really cartoony, I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't like the way it came out of the packaging. So, me personally, I'm going to be doing some kit bashing to this figure. Uh, I am super stoked to finally get it, as I'm not the first one to get this figure, I'm... You know, probably the latest to the game. But I'm super stoked to finally have him. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at his accessories, his articulation, and how he looks t compared to some other Marvel Legends. So let's go ahead and dive into the figure. Alright, so Deadpool only came with two accessories, which were his swords, which really don't have any real color to them. They're just kind of that flat gray tone with a black handle. And they're pretty lame. <laughs> I mean, they're short, they're not sharp looking i don't know i'm gonna definitely switch out these ones but these are the ones that he comes with and they're pretty cool lucky to even get swords with them these days all right now taking a closer look at this deadpool i do really like it i like the way that the head came out uh, it has that aggressive menacing look because deadpool was a mercenary originally if they were going for the rob liefeld look deadpool was a mercenary he was a brutal killer he didn't care he made he cracked jokes and cut heads that was the first deadpool <laughs> Um, so I do really like the costume, but I'm not a fan of those straps. They just look really silly on him. They need more paint. They just look like crap, in my opinion. But the costume looks good, and going down, another biter, or bummer, is the belt. The belt just looks so silly. It just... I'm really disappointed in the accessories that this figure came with. But I am really happy to have another Deadpool. So moving on down, you can see he has a thigh strap, and that's really cool. And then going down, you can see the boot cuffs. All right, now taking a look at Deadpool's articulation, he can look left really well and right. He can look up and down. Okay, he does come on butterfly joints, and they have really, really good rotation in them. So this is a great improvement as far as articulation goes on figures. So we do get a 360, an upper arm swivel, double jointed elbow, wrist hinge, and swivel. All right, he does come with a crunch, which is really good. Goes back and forth really well. Okay, his legs kick out about that much. Leg kicks up that much. Double jointed knees, swivel, hinge, and pivot. So articulation is awesome All on right, this figure. And here we have the Marvel Legend on Deadpool's right, and on his left we have the Revel Tech Deadpool. And they all look to be in scale with each other, but like I said, this one is super red compared to every other Deadpool that I had. Uh, the the red plastic they used is just super bright. Um, but I do still really like this Deadpool. I do have one more of him, so I might take these straps off and see what they look like on that one. Um, I am a big fan of this Deadpool, but I like to keep my Rebel Tech figures in the same type of... Uh, if I'm going to use a Revel Tech figure, I like to use other Revel Tech figures. That's just how I am. Um, but I, I do like these. I do like all three of these. There's there's really no comparison. They're, they each have their different style, and I like each one of them for a different type of photo. So I'm, I'm happy with all three of these. And here we have him next to the Mezco Deadpool and the Mezco Punisher. And, um, I mean, they scale in all right with each other. The Deadpool looks all right next to Punisher. But the Mezco Deadpool looks a lot bigger than that Deadpool, so... Uh, I don't know why you would need more than one Deadpool in a shot, but... And here he is next to the Vintage Wolverine and the Mezco X-Force Wolverine, and he looks... He looks good next to them. He, d he doesn't really scale in with the Mezco Wolverine because Wolverine's head is so huge next to him, and they're about the same height. So I don't think they scale in next to each other, but he does look good next to the 
uh, Vintage Wave Wolverine as they're both traditional costumes. All right, guys, that's going to be it for my review of the Marvel Legend X-Force Wave Deadpool. Um, this is a really cool figure, but I am just personally disappointed with his accessories. They are let down. He should have came with, you know, more guns, more accessories, a taco, a burrito, anything. Um, but I am happy to have this figure finally. Um, I could add him to my Deadpool collection. He is an awesome figure. I do like the colors, and I do like everything about him, but I am definitely going to be changing the accessories up that's the only thing i have a gripe with uh but thank you guys for watching if you haven't already please subscribe leave a comment leave a like and i'll catch you guys next time peace